Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Oracles. Today we're going to take a look at the NEAR protocol. We're going to dive into Aurora, understand what it is, what it does and how you can take part into their up and coming IDO. So let's get started right away. So just to give you a bit of a background on what NEAR is, NEAR is a decentralized development platform that uses proof of stake with a very interesting way of generating their blocks in the blockchain and use of sharding, which we're going to take a look in one second. Nier is also fairly recent. The mainnet went live in April 2020, so about a year and a half ago. Um, so let's let's take a look at what they say on their website. So Nier is a collective, a foundation and a development platform built on a new layer one blockchain. So Nier is basically a layer one solution on top of Ethereum to reduce the fees, to make things cheaper, faster, and especially better for developers. Um, so Nier is a development platform. So they put a lot of uh, stress on this. It is a blockchain, but it is mostly for development. It is sharded. We're going to take a look at that in one second. It makes use of proof of stake, which is different from proof of work or proof of coverage, which we covered in previous videos, and is a layer one solution um, on top of Ethereum. It's cost effective. Uh, we are at a thousand times lower transaction fees for users and developers earn 30% transaction fees. It's very secure. It's pragmatic. It's very, very user friendly. Uh, they provide SDKs, JavaScript, Rust, Assembly, for developers to work directly on the platform. Um, so let's take a look at sharding one second in case you don't know what it is. So sharding, sharding is done by dividing the network nodes into groups and splitting the information stored in the network between these groups. So for example, slicing the database into smaller pieces. So imagine a big database and you slice the database into smaller pieces, you have pieces of data into smaller chunks. So where is sharding actually used? So one of the most taught use cases of sharding in the blockchain industry is Ethereum. Now you're probably going to ask yourself, well, didn't we just say that near it's solving a problem that Ethereum has? You're right. We're talking about Ethereum 2.0. So the Ethereum shards will be organized around a coordinate layer, the beacon chain, which we'll talk about in a previous video as well, which was launched in December 2020. The beacon chain is a proof of stake blockchain. So it plays a role in another important change in Ethereum and the shard will be coordinated through this beacon chain. Um, so if you want to hear more about that, check out one of our previous videos and um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments down below. So keep reading on the near website. Um, many protocols and applications are increasingly going multi-chain. This allows developers and users to take advantage of the assets, composability and community of Ethereum as well as the higher throughput, lower fees, and shorter confirmation times. So basically they allow a lot of the Ethereum uh, flow to come into their um, uh, their network, into their development space. They allow a lot of developers to just support their applications. In one way, this is quite similar to Moonbeam, which is what we've seen in yesterday's video about Polkadot parachains. So you can think about it in the same way. Now let's jump into Aurora, probably the reason why most of you are here today. I know there's a lot of questions going around how to take part to the IDO. So let's just give a brief overview of what Aurora is, and then we can jump into that. So Aurora is a EVM built on the near protocol. It's a solution for developers to operate their applications on an Ethereum compatible, high throughput, scalable, and future safe platform. This means that if you have an Ethereum application, you can easily run your application on the near protocol by using Aurora. So they're making life very easy and very cheap for developers. They're helping the Aurora network to port uh, applications across. Um, and as we said, high throughput and high scalability uh, is a layer one protocol as well. And the Aurora environment consists of two components, the Aurora engine, which is a high performance EVM, and the Aurora Bridge, which facilitate trustless transfers of ETH and ERC20 tokens between Ethereum and Aurora. So, and oh, let's take a look at the roadmap down here. We are just entering now in Q3 and they're starting the competition of Aurora fundraising campaign, filling of all the Aurora DAO initial seats and talk, fast token, tran token transfer and so on. So this is very, very much up and coming. 
So let's take a look at the IDO. How do you take part to the IDO? Big question of the day. A lot of people asking us in the chat, a lot of people asking on Telegram. So the IDO has actually already started with the first launch on the SmartPad, November 5th. I'm gonna skip over that because today is November 8th. So there is no point in talking about it. The next one is gonna be the Boca Chica sale happening on November 11th at, at 13 UTC. So how do you take part into this? Step one, you have to have a Neo wallet. So go on the Neo website, I'm gonna link it down in the description and create a wallet. It's really, really simple. Once you created a wallet, transfer some Neo tokens. If you have Binance, incredibly simple, go on Binance, buy some Neo tokens, add the, your wallet to your whitelist and then send your tokens through, your Neo tokens through. Once you have them on your near wallet, you have to stake them in order to be able to take part and you have to stake at least 50 near tokens. Now, this is because the whole blockchain, the near blockchain is based on a proof of stake. So Boba Chica is requesting participants to ensure that they have staked their uh, near tokens as well. Once you staked your near tokens and we recommend doing that before the 11th of November, so you got a day and a half to go. Um, uh, on the 11th of November at 13 UTC, you will be able to go on the Boca Chica website, which is also linked down in the description, and you will be able to buy. Of course, it's not a guarantee, it's a first come, first serve, and you will only be able to buy in between 5 to 25 near, um, sorry, the equivalent of 5 to 25 near tokens. So we're talking about 250 USDT max, no more than that. And then the Skyward sale, which is right after November 17th, doesn't have any basic requirements in terms of staking. You can just go and buy. It's a four hour duration in which you can um, buy your tokens. Deposits start one week in advance. So you have all the time to deposit your near tokens and then trade and buy your Aurora token. Very, very, very important KWC. So know your customer. So recently, the DAO community has decided to make sure that KWC is applied for this sale. So in order to be eligible, you need to pass KWC. And I'm gonna post down, I'm gonna post a link down in the description below on where to go to do that. The link is not out yet, so please don't start uh, writing too many comments about it. It will be out and uh, the Aurora community will let us have it. Um, but what's really important is that in order to participate to the Boca Chica sale, you need to either do it before, so you either you do your KWC before in order for your wallet to be KWC'd, or you do it after by the TGE deadline. And TGE, we're gonna take a look in a second, is when they actually give you the tokens. And then for the Skyward, you need to make sure you have done it by the end of the sale. So we say the Skyward sale is on the 17th of November and it will last four hours. Make sure that you've done your KWC by the end of the four hours. If you don't do it, don't worry, you won't lose your money. You will simply get your near tokens back, but you won't get a chance to buy Aurora. So TGE, TGE is token generation event. So the Aurora tokens will be delivered to the wallets of all the IDO purchaser on the TGE, which is planned on November 18th, 18th at 13 UTC. Why? Because they want this to be fair, because they want everybody to receive the token at the same time. They, they don't want people to start selling massively after the first IDO. So everybody will be at the same page uh, at the same point in time. Very important as well, if you're from one of these countries, you won't be eligible to participate. And sadly for people in the US, the United States of America are not eligible. This is somewhat good for Europe. There is a lot of interest in these IDOs, which means a lot of people from Europe will be able to jump on them without the whole US flow as we usually see on this type of IDOs. So if you wanna see a bit of a technical analysis, stick till the end, otherwise um, you can stop watching here. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button and follow us on our Telegram channels. Feel free to join our Telegram to ask any questions about this IDO. So um, yeah, as I mentioned, the um, Q&A is actually live right now. I'm gonna post the description. Um, I'm gonna post the link in the description down below. Really, really good Q&A. A lot of thanks to the CEO, it was amazing. It was really, really insightful. And lastly, I wanna leave you with a bit of technical analysis. So for some of the traders out there, uh, we can take a look at the charts. So I took a look at the daily chart today. Um, what we see here, we are in a raising uh, symmetrical triangle. Um, so th this is um, just a technical pattern. 
Um, we are looking at a cap and handle partner, which is um, a very, very bullish indicator. So if we break above this triangle, we're likely to see new all time highs. So above this line is all time high. Um, and we're probably gonna target around $20 first and then up from there. Um, the RSI, which indicates uh, the strength of um, the price, the momentum of the price, it's in the bullish area, not incredibly overbought, but it's up there. And the MACD, which is the moving average lines, um, it's uh, pretty much at the end of a cycle, but this doesn't actually mean that we'll see uh, the price going back down. In this case, I don't think this indicator is very useful here. So pretty good. And then just something very funny that I wanna show you. Um, this happened a few minutes ago during the video um, as the Aurora CEO was talking about um, the IDO and basically telling people to go and buy Aurora in order to buy, um, sorry, buy, buy Nier in order to buy Aurora. Uh, the price of, of Nier actually spiked more than uh, nearly 10% in just a, uh, in just an hour. Um, so really, really good to see that there's a lot of interest and uh, people are very, very much bullish about this. All right, thank you for watching. Um, if you found this insightful, please smash the like button, subscribe, uh, feel free to leave a comment, ask any questions, and don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Thank you very much and see you next time.